look at this comfrey beast. I'm going to be harvesting it right now and shoving it into that barrel so I can make ferment. I think I saw a orange belted bumblebee here. Right of it. Yeah. That is a rare bee here. This is the very first fruiting that I'm getting from a high bush cranberry that I actually planted this from a seed probably about five years ago that's pretty cool they're bitter and because they're the first one I'm gonna eat them all raw <laughs> This is an experiment to grow potatoes in the shade. It isn't going well. There's spindly little stalks. Put some peas in here too, they ain't going well either. But this experiment, we're gonna let her go to fruition, see if we got any potatoes. The experiment of planting radish seeds in fall planted elephant garlic, I won't repeat again. What happened was is the radishes weren't fast enough to bulb up to match the growth of the elephant garlic. It became very leggy and began to go to seed before it could really bulb up much. So I've taken a few other ones this probably and I've been taking them as uh, as they developed over the last uh, week. This is probably half again as much of what I've taken. So that's the only yield I got out of radishes in elephant garlic. So I won't repeat it again. There's still carrots in there that are growing. They're supposed to do better in shade. And there's a few volunteer potatoes growing in here. And this was a potato patch last year. And there's some skirt that is growing from seed. There still are other yields other than elephant garlic. And of course the jury's still out. Are these elephant garlic going to bulb up in such a densely planted arrangement? I broke this elephant garlic in here. It was growing. It's got one leaf left to it, but it isn't going to grow much. It's in a pretty deep shade anyway. It was just an experiment. So we're going to harvest it for breakfast this morning. Up the soil a little bit. Pull it out, see what we got. That's what we got. Hey, that's that looks pretty good. It's a little soft. Let's eat it, see what it tastes like. I'm having a second breakfast snack in my garden and I'm eating these things. These are radishes about to go to seed. I just picked that off, and that's what I'm eating. All right, these are elephant garlic scapes. I've been letting them grow over the years, but this is the first time I put elephant garlic in a concentrated planting. So this is just for production of cloves, of bulbs and cloves, bulbs, cloves. Oh, there's a couple more. I think I missed. I think I missed. 
And uh, when you cut off these scapes, of course they are a food source, so you're going to be eating them. So this is part of the production right here. But also, now the plant isn't going to be putting energy into making these seeds and bobils. More bobils and seeds, but they're, they're both in, in the uh, flower heads. And the flower heads, I like growing them. I, and I've got them elephant garlic planted in the food forest and scattered around. All that, those go to seed. And the reason why I really like that is the pollinators just love elephant garlic blossoms. Elderberry. The tippy top of the bush. Black raspberries. Those are honeyberries. At least I'm calling them honeyberries. Some people call them has caps. This bush doesn't really have them as much as it did last year, but there's going to be a harvest. I've been waiting for them to fall onto this sheet before I eat them because that's when they're the sweetest is when they fall off. So I got one here. Oh, there's another one over here. That's it. That's all I see is two. Right there. Oops. I'm going to eat them right now. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's some sweetness to them. There's trouble. That's the honeyberry eater. Wow. Wow. Never seen a green one before. That is a green dragonfly. That's worth looking at for a while. Black raspberries, after black raspberries, after black raspberries, after black raspberries. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a lot of black raspberries. One year I ate so many black raspberries, I don't know how many, might have ate a couple gallons, five gallons maybe, and all of a sudden I just couldn't eat another one. My mouth got sour. Might be one of those years again.